Hello, my name is Dustin from the Wild Star Company. Um, I'm going to give you a brief demonstration on Enzatec's new TIG brush. So with Enzatec's new 550 machine, they have various different power settings. This is the single brush mode, the dual or quad brush mode, and then they also have a cleaning phase, a polishing phase, a marking phase, and then also etching. And in the etching phase, you have to actually turn it to the polishing mode. And then uh, your adapters, this is where your normal uh, torch would go, or your propel torch, and then black indicates a spot for your ground clamp. So this is Enzatec's new propel torch. Uh, this really comes advantageous when you're trying to get into tight uh, crooks and crannies because it allows you to scroll um, the brush in and out, um, allowing you to control how much of the brush is actually sticking out. Uh, the fluid that I will be using today is the TB25. Uh, TB25 is a mild phosphoric acid, so it's like the same thing that's in Diet Coke. It's not uh, hazardous to your skin or anything like that. And then uh, because it is an acid, you have to use a, a neutralizing solution. So the neutralizing solution I'm using is TB40. So I'm going to go over the initial setup. Um, I'm about to clean this piece. Um, I'm going to turn it to the single brush mode. And then we're going to clean this piece, so I'm going to the cleaning phase. Um, again, I'm using the TB25 cleaning solution. I have the part grounded back here. Now this is an electrochemical process that uses uh, electricity. This is roughly 18 volts, 60 to 80 amps. Um, so it's not dangerous. You know, you're not gonna get electrocuted or anything. Um, you see the smoke that's coming off of there? They've done case studies on that over in Holland and it's classified as an irritant. So it's not dangerous to the operator. Um, again, this is the TB40 neutralizing solution that I'm using. Now those brushes are made to last uh, eight hours of straight contact time and it's actually uh, beneficial with the propel torch um, you being able to control how much is sticking out so then you don't have an operator that's trying to jam it into the piece when that's not really necessary. Um, the fluid you use you're just supposed to keep the brush wet. Um, so it's really dependent on the operator on how much fluid you're going to go through, but really you just need to keep the brush wet. And this was just a piece of dirty 304 stainless that we had laying around. Um, but you can see, you know, this weld looks pretty good. Uh, we were able to remove the, all the uh, iron in the heat affected zone. Um, now, some people may worry about the, uh, the burn on the back. We can also clean that up as well. Now I'm going to go over the etching portion of the TIG brush. Um, as I mentioned, um, again, single brush mode. And then because we are etching, um, as I mentioned earlier, you have to turn it to the polishing mode because you're actually removing one one thousandths of the stainless um, on the top. Um, the solution that we're going to use is a TB95. It's made specifically for etching. Um, this is a, a carbon wand and a piece of felt. And then the stencil that we're using is actually a screen print stencil. Um, they're made to last roughly 2,000 times. Um, contact your local Weld Star and they can get a, a stencil made uh, customizable for you. Okay, again, this is a screen print stencil, a carbon wand, and I have it set in the etching mode right now. Again, this is a TB95 etching solution. So dip it in there, get your wand wet, and just simply run over the piece. Now this is what the etch should look like when you're completed. Um, if you would like, you can use a TB50 finishing fluid to clean it up a little bit. Let me try that, Dustin. If 
you're trying to clean, polish, or etch stainless steel, or just want to talk to Wendy, give us a call at Weldstar.